everybody this is Brett from King Gubby just wanted to do a quick video here for the Pro Z axis adjuster and how to install it so as you can see I've taken apart the um, Z axis module and put it on the Afero with the SF here um, I've attached the module plate to the module and the carriage plate to the carriage and one thing to note is that these two holes here on the bottom of your SF are where we attach our King Gubby air assists. So if you're planning on doing that, you don't want your module plate to be too low. Uh, so just keep that in mind when installing this Z-axis adjuster. Um, like I said, I already put it on. I already put it on the carriage plate here. Um, figured you guys could figure that out. Uh, if you are attaching our brick feet to your laser, you're gonna also want to have the carriage plate on the lower settings because the height that our brick feet raise your laser is about the same as the lower placement on the screws for the carriage plate, the stock carriage plate versus the high ones. You want to oil these uh, tracks here, the dovetails. It's a really good idea to use some three-in-one oil or if you don't have that even veggie oil will work but you just want to make sure that it is oiled. I tend to lift the laser like this to um, slide the dovetails into each other. Uh, if you have our brick feet it's a little easier but you can just tilt it sideways and get the right amount of height to get your module slipped on there. Okay. And this circle right here what you really want to do is try and push the barrel nut through. It's kind of tough to get through we keep it tight so that you um, don't have any play in your uh, module when you're going back and forth or doing a, an engraving. So just stick the barrel nut in here and put it down on a flat surface like a counter or something and then apply some pressure and you can kind of push it through. So just like this. There you go. And maybe pass it through one or two times and it should um, make sure that there's like a nice snug fit but that it won't be too difficult to get in there once you get the two plates um, slid together like so and then just slide it in there and put your bolt down through and twist Then for those of you who are just gonna go with the bolt clip that we send standard, um, you just place it over the bolt head like that and uh, use the provided uh, screws and nuts that we have. The back side of the carriage plate actually has spots for you to slip those uh, three or M3 nuts in. And then you'll put your eight millimeter screws through the front there and screw it through. You'll want to do it on both sides, obviously, and make sure to oil uh, the bolt head and any of the contact points um, to make sure that you don't have any friction in there either. For those of you that are going to move up to the bit drive and knob combo, uh, this is the bit drive, and there's a bit in there, as you can see, that's why we call it the bit drive. You're going to want to make it so it sits right in the top of that bolt there, and basically repeat what I just said with the bolt clip. You just put the nuts in the back side and the screws in the front. One thing is these tension spacers that we provide. Uh, there is some variation with the bolts that we buy every once in a while, not too often. And so if you do have a little too much play in there, which is not really a big deal because it doesn't affect anything with the burn or, or it's not going to make uh, your module move or anything, but we do provide these spacers you can put right there on the bit and then put that on top of the bolt and it should help. This one's a little tight so I'll take it off. And then all you do is put the screws through and you're set. Um, this little, these little knobs on the side of our module plates are actually for putting a zip tie through so you can cinch your loom and your air hose down and it actually helps keep everything pointing straight up. 
uh, or not straight up, but upward. And that helps a lot with uh, keeping it off of your, your burn or your waste board or your burn surface. So there's also knobs that you can get to um, put on top of this bit drive, obviously. Um, I'll put a couple pictures down at the bottom, but that is our Z axis. <laughs>